Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jo and I help creators with freelancing, passive income and tech. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a simple landing page with a tool called System.io to help you sell more digital products. Most people think that to sell digital products, the only way is to list on platforms like Creative Market or Etsy. While getting lots of traffic from these platforms is really amazing, they do cut your profit margins, sometimes the competition is really high, and personally I actually find the uploading process really lengthy. But if you create your own landing pages with a tool called System.io, then you get to keep all of the profit and you can control the entire process. And it's easily repeatable. All of these things are really good for future-proofing your business. System.io even has a free plan to help you get started and then when you're ready you can upgrade to get more features at any time. Before we dive into the video I just want to let you know that I've put any resources in the comment section below of the video so definitely check those out. And if you find my content helpful please make sure you like and subscribe so I can keep creating content for you guys. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a system.io account. If you check the comment section below of the video, I have got a link to my free resources so you can get a free trial there. I've also got a one click install digital product template that you can just click and install into your system.io account straight away so you don't have to set up anything yourself. But let's go through how you actually create a landing page to sell digital products and we'll do that all from scratch. Once you've logged into your system.io account, you're the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up your Stripe and your PayPal. So the way that you actually receive payments. This is to make sure that when somebody buys your product, you actually get paid. Okay, so on the left hand side, you will see payment gateways. I've actually already got a Stripe and a PayPal account set up. So all you need to do is make sure you have those accounts set up and you just connect them there. It's really simple. It just comes up with a modal and you just go through it that way. The next thing that you need to do is go to payment pages and this is just so that you can select the currency of your payment pages so like your cart pages and things like that so i've got mine set on to us dollars you can select whatever you like okay so let's get into creating our landing page to actually sell the digital products okay so i've come over into funnels and i'm going to click create when you click create, you're going to want to name it your funnel or your landing page. So I'm just going to call this digital product test for now. And if you've got some different domain names, you can use them there or you can just use the standard system.io one, which is free. So you want to sell a product or your service and the currency is US dollars. That's what I like to sell in it. So I'm going to hit save. So my funnel has been added, so I'm going to select my funnel which is in here. And you'll see that I've got an order form and a thank you page. It always does that automatically, which is great because you just want things to be really easy and it's just that one two step process. Okay, so here what we have is we have so many templates that system.io has created. I want you to select the one that most represents your brand and what you really really like um, when i'm looking at all of these templates you also want to have the user in mind as well so you want it to be really fast and really easy because when you're selling digital products people just want to be able to you know see the product and buy it you can also preview all of these templates by just hovering over and clicking preview template and that will show you exactly what it looks like this one is actually pretty good. So I'm probably going to go with this one just for the demo purposes. So I'm going to select that. And I always want to make sure that I name everything because I am just into systems. I'm into order. <laughs> I like things really organized so I know exactly what it is. So I would call that your digital product name and order form. And then I would also update the URL path. This is just so when you start creating heaps of digital products and heaps of landing pages that you can easily identify exactly what it is. So I would call this digital product whatever your digital product name is and I would say order form and then you just make sure that you save that oh sorry it's not saving because I haven't selected digital product <laughs> let's just save that well that makes sense okay so after we've done that you just want to do the same on the thank you page so 
I usually actually just go with this one because I know that this one's really simple. Um, thank you pages don't necessarily need to be a lot. They just need to be saying thank you. They probably have like a download link in them. Maybe they have like they lead to somewhere else to upsell or something like that. But for now, we're just going to select this template here. And we're going to do exactly the same. So make sure you name it your digital product, whatever it is, thank you page, and the same with the URL. And then make sure you save that as well. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's edit the page itself. So I'm going to come over to edit page. Now remember with system.io, it is completely customizable. You can drag and drop things. Like it is so cool what you can do. What I do recommend is with any images, anything like that, like I wouldn't use the images that are in here. I would go to Canva and I would create something that looks really, really good for this and has something to do with your digital product. So all you need to do to update text is highlight it, call it your digital product name. And here you can completely customize the information that you need. Now, what I highly recommend that you do with this is you keep it to the bare minimum. People don't want to be filling out like endless forms. They just want to like fill it out and get their thing. So just go through it and delete all of the unnecessary fields that you do not need in your system and you do not need people to fill out. Now, because I had already set up my PayPal and my Stripe, all of this information has come through automatically already. So that's why we did it first, because it just makes it heaps easier. Now you can see here, it's already got some order details on here. This was just dummy content, and this will relate to a pricing structure that you import, and I'll show you that in a second. But just to like edit this page, you know, you can keep the same format, you can drag things around, but if you want to change button colors, you know, if you want to change the width, you know, you want to change the text, you basically everything you click on here, you drag and, you know, you drag and around, but then on here, you can also, you know, edit text and things like that. And then if you can't edit a text, you can come over here onto the left hand side. So they're really the only places that you can like edit things. So it just keeps it nice and simple and it's not too complicated. And because you can drag and drop it gives you heaps of freedom which i really really love so if you wanted to update this image you can come to here um, you can upload your own images you know i've already got some images that are in here i'll just input one of myself just so you can see an example of how easy it is to customize you know you can all the text in here if you don't want blocks you can delete them and everything is also all mobile friendly already as well. So the other thing I want to mention as well is when you're doing these landing pages, if you have pricing in them, let's just say I've actually priced this at $67, you want to make sure that all of the information matches on here and matches everywhere else. So I'm just going to save this. Now, if you want to view, preview it, you can just click on this little eye button and you will preview it exactly as if a user was previewing it. So that's really handy so you can test it. Now with this landing page, you know, I like to always make sure that my SEO is optimized. So come into settings and go down the bottom and you will see the title, the description, the keywords, the author, the social images. So I would do all of that. That's just to make sure like it's really searchable and findable. When you're designing your landing pages as well, Always make sure that you start with a heading and that it is H1. Now, the cool thing about System.io is, like other website builders, they make you stay within specific sizes of things. Like basically once you say, oh, H1 is going to be, you know, 50 points, then it makes it everywhere else as well. But with System.io, you can like customize every single little detail. So if I wanted this H1 to be, you know, 54, and then I wanted this H1 to be, you know, <laughs> something something else like 60 then I can it's really great like that so it allows you to really design freely and be able to do as much or as little as you like when you are designing or making any changes it, to, the, to these landing pages the templates you always want to make sure that you use rows and then you put things inside rows 
that's to make sure that everything stays responsive and you get the right sizing and everything like that so if I had this row here and it was just going to be like one column and that's it then I could use that but let's just say I wanted two columns so I wanted to do something similar to this I would drag that two columns there and I would put something in there so let's just say I'd put an image and I'd put another image and then that just makes sure when it goes to mobile that things stack on top of each other Okay, so let me just delete these. We don't really need them anymore. So deleting is really easy as well. I like to do it this way. You can delete uh, just using this one here, but I just prefer to delete over there just in case I delete something inside something by accident. So those are the two ways that you can delete. Now let's scroll down to the bottom and see what else this template had. So you can add stuff in here and use this template, but honestly, I feel like when you're selling digital products, Whatever you can see on the screen, that first bit up there, that's it. I don't feel like I want to scroll down anymore. So this stuff down the bottom actually kind of becomes a little bit useless. I don't know if people are going to look at your picture, enter their information, click buy now, and then they're going to be taken to another page and they're going to look down here. So this design specifically is probably like I wouldn't even bother. It would be probably different if you had something, if you had this stacked on top of each other and it was like a long scrolling one and you had some stuff down the bottom. But for now, I think with this type of template and this design, I would just delete all of this stuff. I don't think it's very necessary. The other thing that this specific template doesn't have is a footer and you really need to have a footer there with all of your terms and conditions and your privacy policies and your logo just because some places where you'll be putting your links will actually need that stuff for compliance. So let's go to blocks and we're going to go to footers and there's just a standard one here which is really easy, so I'm just gonna add that. So you can update your logo here. So just the same as we updated those images before. So you can upload there. And then through here, this is a menu. So it makes it really easy for you to change the text here to, you know, terms and conditions. And you can add in a link to the page wherever your terms and conditions are stored. Obviously your contact page, which we, you know, it doesn't need to be my library, it would be contact. And then, of course, this is just your um, privacy, po no, sorry, not your privacy policy. This is your um, copyright, you know, the year that everything was made and your business name. Okay, so basically that's all of the design and all of the settings for your landing page that will um, be, help you be able to sell your digital products. The one thing we need to do is make sure we set up the pricing. So I'm just going to save this. And I'm going to go out of here and I'm going to go to the next page. Oh, sorry, not the next page. I'm going to go and set up the pricing for that. So down here, remember where I selected digital product, you, I already had price. I already had my pricing plan set up, but let me just delete that because I'll show you from scratch. So the pricing plan, you click on plus. Now you're going to probably want to select a one-time payment because that's usually what you do with digital products. Unless you are really great, you've got like a membership subscription or you want to do payment plans, anything like that. But just for demo purposes, we're just going to do one-time payment. Now I'm going to create a new plan to show you how that works. So just something to note with system.io again, that if you enter in a pricing plan, you can't delete them. I'm not sure why, but for some reason it just doesn't let you. So you would just call this whatever your digital product is and um, some of the stuff is displayed on the form and some of the stuff is just displayed on your dashboard, dashboard but it's pretty self-explanatory there. So I would just go ahead and fill out the details here and make sure that this is really descriptive in terms of what you're selling because this will appear um, for you and also the person buying it. So, you know, you'll probably say PDF, ebook, or Canva template, whatever it is. And then again, you just do the one time payment and you select how much that it is. Make sure that when you write in this payment amount, that the payment amount matches here and it also matches on your landing page. Because if it is different on your landing page versus what you're actually putting into this here, then people are going to get really confused about why they're being charged different amounts and what it says on your landing page. And then you just click save. Now I'm just not going to save this one because I don't want to have it <laughs> in my system, um, but I'll just load um, a normal one so you can see what that would look like. So 
I'll just load this one and that's what it would look like once you finished it and you would save it. Now the really important thing is to make sure that you save it up here on the right hand side because if you don't save it then your pricing plan will not save on the page. So we save that and the way that you can check if everything's worked and everything's looking the same is you can view the funnel step. And you can see that's where I typed $67. You can see all my information's coming through for things that I needed to collect. And you can see that my um, digital product was 67 as well. So we'll just double check there as well. Yep, the foot is all there. And this is, that's it. That's your landing page. It is all done. As a bonus, I wanted to just show you how you can deliver your digital products once you've set up your landing page. So um, I've just come to the thank you page and all I'm going to do is go edit page. And this is all really standard, same kind of drag and drop thing as before. You can edit it exactly how you like, put in your personal messages. You know, it probably would be really cool to put your social media links in here. So this button here is where you can put in the um, link to your digital product. So you would write something like, you know, download now. Oops, it would help if I wrote it in the right place. Sometimes with system IO, where with the buttons, where the text is, is down the bottom. So I'm just going to write download now. And then this is where you would add your link. So you would add your link here and I would recommend that you use something like from Dropbox or from Google Drive. So you could, you know, just easily copy and paste it into there, but it also means for versioning. If you like do different, you know, versions of something, you can easily just copy the URL and put it in there rather than having to upload all of the time. So you can write like a really nice thank you message, like thank you for downloading my digital product. Da, 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 da. Here's all your information and they can download it now. So you have now set up a fully automated like landing page with all of the details where you can capture people's information and you can also, you know, sell your digital product and you've automatically delivered that digital product as well. And all you need to do is go through and customize the designs and set up these settings. Remember, if you don't want to do that, I do have that one click install um, a digital product template link that you can do so make sure you check that so out. So if you enjoyed my content today please like the video make sure you subscribe even leave a comment below to let me know that you are loving this content so I can create more for you.